Okay, you guys, it is time for another Amazon unboxing. My girlfriend is opening it for me. The box is pretty massive, so. I can't find it. It doesn't seem to be on any of these stations. Keep looking. Oh, you're going too slow. Let me take the wheel. It's too fast. How could you even tell what's on? Yeah, I can tell. Too late, I'm in the 40s. Gotta go around the horn. Faster. These were purchased by moi. So the first thing we have here, <laughs> it is the pink stuff. It's the Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleaner, but this went viral. I'm, I'm looking at my girlfriend, by the way. On TikTok for a minute, it cleans literally everything, supposedly. And there's also like a, uh, you know me and cleaning. My cleaning supply moments. So yeah, that's what that is. I got a dog food one. <laughs> I'm gonna open it. It is a salt and pepper grinder. Oh, is the next one. <laughs> oh my god, I wish you guys could see her. She's so cute. But look at how aesthetic, babe. Are you ready? So You're gonna die. All right, ready? Do you like it? I love it. Okay, so I don't know if it came with salt and pepper. We might have to get that. <laughs> but it. Oh my god. I know. Thanks. So this is the dog treat container and the dog food container, and we have matching cat food and cat treat one so look at this tiny box oh she tried i put it down and i was like ready put your booties in there and she actually tried try again try again right here <laughs> oh my god <laughs> babe look at this <laughs> twinkie oh my god you're so special <laughs> so he's like oh what the he's like oh what the he's like oh what the he's like oh Wasabi. Come to mama's. Mama loves you so much. Golly. We need to get you a box. So don't mind all of this because we're in the middle of doing laundry. We just put down new clean sheets. But look at this cat right here. She literally lives here rent free. Like, look at this. But then look at this dog right here. Rent free. When you look directly into their eyes, you do see into their heart all of the suffering, all of the pain. If they had a voice, they would say, please help me. So I'm currently on a walk and I just almost saw a car crash. Literally scared the shit out of me. <laughs> but oh my God, you guys, I feel so good out right now. Wow. I think that walking 74 degree weather when the sun is not out is the best. I feel so good. For the people asking about me wearing flats, they're actually more comfortable for me because they're actually something like I'm used to. Now here I am wearing flats and they freaking hurt because ever since I started working, I wear tennis shoes every day. My foot has officially like formed itself into my tennis shoe. So now when I wear any other type of shoe or I'm not wearing shoes at all, my feet just hurt really. When I walk with my tennis shoes, I get out of breath faster. Love me a stair moment. Oh, the days when I used to be able to run down the stairs. <laughs> Highly doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon. So I currently have an unhealthy relationship with the scale. I weighed myself before the walk, and now I'm gonna weigh myself after to see what happened. Don't follow my steps in this regard. What the heck? I literally lost 0.8 of a pound. That's cute. Okay, you guys, taste test with Amber Lynn. Do not mind. We have a messy pantry right now. Okay, taste test. And if anyone's wondering, 140 calories. Fruity Pebbles is like my fave. They came out with a snack, Fruity Pebbles crisps. Oh, wait, what? Why was, okay, I was expecting these to be like this big and like kind of puffy, but they're bigger and they're like flat. Okay. It literally looks like a party in a bag. You wanna try one, babe, with me? Ooh, we got a taste test. Okay, we're gonna rate it out of 10. Okay, ready? This is fat girl in a bag. Wait, this is so good. Wait, she's spitting it out. Well, no, I don't like fruity she doesn't like fruity pebbles. So this is coming from someone who hates fruity pebbles and then coming from someone who loves them. All I need is a glass of milk. That definitely tastes like fruity pebbles. Oh, I give it a 9.5. I give it an ass out of 10. An ass out of 10? So we have a negative what, like 10? Negative 15. Like oh, negative 15. Yeah. Mm-mm. You know, as it sits in your mouth more, it tastes a little better. 
Oh! The initial is shock value to the taste buds. Because you don't like fruity pebbles. Yeah. Oh, baby, you tried them for me. Yeah, you. Thank you. I love you. You guys, <laughs> I just thought of something bomb. I'm gonna put a little bit of. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just try it. You know this is gonna be good. I'm just gonna do a smidge because I just feel like I have to try it. Best thing I ever ate. <laughs> Best thing I ever ate. <laughs> she done knew. <sighs> Oh, this tastes like a straight up dessert. Goodbye. Watch how Twinkie walks over this. Oh, such a good girl. Oh. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm kind of having like a bad day today, like a bad mental health day. I wake up and I do great throughout the day, like amazing. Once night hits, it's as if I'm a completely different person. And I'm also sad because like, I was going on like five days with no binging, but last night I, oh God, last night you guys, I binged so bad that I was stuffing my face and I felt literally sick to my stomach. I was so full. I wanna consider like massively overeating as a binge so it did happen last night and you know what i did i kept eating i kept eating and i couldn't stop but i downloaded this app where you can like track like your binging how long you've gone without binging or you can track anything really so um i'm doing that so that means i have started over so let's go longer than five days i do want to show you guys <laughs> just a couple more it's like look how many ma'am i want to show you a few more i did this one this one this one and this one so I wanted to show you the app that I've been using to track, don't worry, not sponsored. It's called Eating Disorder Recovery, and there's only 281 reviews, which is so crazy, but this is how I filled it in today. How frequently are you preoccupied with food? Always. How frequently do you evaluate yourself based on your meals? Frequently. Um, how frequently do you evaluate on your size? Blah, blah, blah. Of course, I said always to all of that. So day one of no binging, angry with myself for ordering McDonald's last night, which is what I binged on. So I also wanted to answer the questions as like how I used to be. So obviously, always to those, and then almost every single one of these, I clicked yes. Eating excessive amounts, eating rapidly, eating without hunger, you fasting, say I'm making eating in secret, like a whole night. Tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster. A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain.